this tutorial, we will just see the basics on a few revision effects plugins within Baselight. We will be looking at a few examples using DeFlicker and Rematch Stereo plugins. You should check the Baselight documentation for detailed information about how to use Baselight. And also, we have other tutorials you can watch for more specific information on each of these plugins on our website. We also have documentation that you can refer to for detailed info that you can find on the folder when you install each of our plugins. Okay, let's get started. In Baselight, we start here with Job Manager. We can create a new scene. It's very important here to select the correct resolution for our working format. So there's no image scaling happening. We are working with HD 1920 by 1080 footage. We can also choose the working frame rate. We will choose 29.97 as that's what our footage is. We can also choose our working color space and since this is primarily color grading software, there's a wide variety to choose from. If you press the shift key, you will see a whole list of color spaces that you can choose from. We will use Rec 1886 2.4 Gamma Rec 709, and we will use that for our input and working color space and our output, which is good for the laptop that I'm using for this tutorial. Now we close the job manager and we're ready to import our footage. We go to Views and the Flux Manager to import our footage, or Control F. I can browse to find my footage and select it, and then just drag it to the timeline. I can close the Flux Manager window now, and you can see here on the left that I have the information for my footage. We have the input color space and the stack color space, and we'll be working with the same color space throughout as I previously mentioned. Next, we will apply our plugin. We go to Insert, Spatial, OFX filter and we choose DeFlicker time lapse for our first plugin. We can also just select the Y key as a shortcut. We can change the parameters for this clip now. We see that it's a time lapse shot which has encountered some flicker as the lighting dramatically changes over time causing flicker. Looking at the time window where the adjacent frames are compared makes a big difference if there are a lot of fluctuations from frame to frame. You can see just by default that the time lapse plugin already stabilizes the color. Looking at the method to choose, we will pick accumulate match in this case. The match change percentage is set to 100%. We can change it to 20%, so each frame is only allowed to change 20%. Let's say that you wanted to animate the max change percentage amount or animate any other control. By default, all keyframing is fixed at a constant value and you need to activate dynamic keyframing mode. Each control on a plugin strip that can be keyframed shows a set key and a keyframe mode button. We can tap the keyframe mode button to change from constant mode to linear mode or any other mode. If you want to change the global default keyframing mode, select Base Light, Preferences from the Base Light main menu. Plugins. Here you can change the default keyframe edit mode and or default keyframing mode. Don't forget to save the preferences if you change them. Now you can see the side-by-side -side before and after of this shot. You can watch more DeFlicker tutorials on our help site to learn more about specific techniques and how to solve specific issues. Let's see another one of our plugins in Baselight where we will see how to handle more than one input. We can create a new scene, rematch and base light, and add two clips. We go back to Views, Flex Manage, and Browse to our two shots. We're going to use Rematch Stereo. The Stereo plugin assumes that the input is an image pair where the two views are shot near each other and most often with a stereoscopic rig. In Baselight, the stack shows source clip on top, input 1 is next, then input 2, and the OFX operator. 
If we want to shift strips up and down, we can use the Alt plus the up or down arrow. We apply the Rematch Stereo plugin to the right view and select the left view as a reference to match to in this case. The Rematch plugin will analyze the corresponding pixels on the other image and try to match the color. You can refer to the documentation to get the detailed explanations of each choice. We can use Lab Histogram 2 for our global match mode. We can also use the local modes if we don't get a perfect match right away to further refine our match. Rematch Stereo provides several options to further process each pixel individually by taking into account the local area around the pixel. First, the plugin internally calculates the best correspondence of each pixel in the target image to a pixel in the source image. Some of the pixels on the edges may not be mapped to the corresponding pixels in the source image because of the difference in placement of the two cameras or lenses. In this case, the pixel-to-pixel -pixel correspondences are made using optical flow. If I set the local mode function to display the mismatch areas in red, you can see where the optical flow warping is not working well according to our threshold for error tolerance, which is the mismatch threshold. So we can adjust that by increasing or decreasing the threshold percentage. And you can see where the refinement needs to take over. Now I can change it back to normal. And you can now see that we have a better overall match.